right, I apologize again. This is going to be another, uh, you know, just kind of rambly voiceover. I apologize. I uh, <laughs> really got to plan these out better <laughs> next year. Um, yeah, so another... Th uh, this one, just Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Another thing is that really... I, I had no material to work with. If it was overly bad, that would be one thing. That's actually, like, juicy material. If it was really good, then I'd have, you know, not the same kind of juicy material, but a lot of stuff to work with. But the Attack of the jack lanterns is just so boring. And I'm, I'm not kidding you. We, we get, the in, like, a two-minute intro where we, we learn the characters' names. We know nothing about them, but we know their names. There's a dream sequence... Um, just it has literally no bearing on the story whatsoever. And then I'm I'm not kidding. They get abducted by these people with jack o' lanterns on their heads. You see that right there. And then the entire episode is just them trick or treating. I'm not kidding. These things kidnap these kids and force them to go trick or treating. The entire goddamn episode. it's so boring. And you know, and they, and on top of that, like they, they fucking score. Look at that. Look at all. Look, look at all that shit they're getting. Look at that. That is a dream. I don't care if you were kidnapped. No kid would care. So, and so, really, what it boils down to is, just answer me this this very simple question, okay? How is this scary? How is trick or treating for fifteen uncut minutes scary? I, 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 I can't. There was literally nothing to work. I mean, I, I at first I was like, oh, I can make a joke about how much they just go trick or treating, but there's only so much, like, so many times I can just cut to me with a frustrated look on my face and be like, they're still trick or treating, and be mad. There's only so many times I can do that before the joke itself just gets old and it's just not funny. I'd rather just tell you to you straight what it is rather than try and be funny and just like fucking fail at it. And you know, at the end of the review, you're just left with kind of a bad taste, like a bad taste in your mouth. Like, oh, that wasn't very entertaining to watch. Like, it's not, that's like that's like that's like the la that's the last thing I, I would want to have happen with the re any reviews of mine. I mean, I know they're not grade A material here, but Jesus. And the big twist at the end, uh, as it turns out, like the two people with the jack lanterns in their heads are friends of the main girl, and they're aliens. I'm not kidding. Like, there's no indication whatsoever. There's all, I guess, the Rainlands. It's like, it's seriously like, this is one of the ones where, I mean, they're going off the source material, so it's not like they have much of a twist to go off of, because I don't, I don't even think that the twist in the book of this one was all that great. It's just kind of out of left field. But I mean, some of these episodes, the ones we've looked at and the ones in the future, I mean, they get sort of creative with what they do. They deviate from the book a little bit. So there's a chance here to get a different ending and it sticks with it. It's just completely like, it misses the point entirely of like a Twilight Zone style twist ending. This is, this is another reason that I didn't want to do, you know, I, I avoided doing a scripted thing because I ended up just repeating myself from uh, Girl Who Cried Monsters that the twist in it just comes out of left field. It's like the ending to The Village. There was literally no indication whatsoever that it still takes place in like modern time. And I'm not spoiling the movie because you've had enough time to see it. This, there won't be too many more of these vloggy, rambly type things in the future, but bottom line, Tack of the Jack-O-Lanterns is 